Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fabulous Friday. Yes, it's here again, and I really, really hope that everyone has an awesome weekend. Right, I'm here today with a surprise creation design team haul, and I'm going to begin with the biggest one. Now, they're all backed on white cardstock that she sent me, and I think some of them are Nicole Designs. I'm not 100% sure, but those that I think that are, I will mention. So I'm going to start with the first one, and it's this. And it's huge, and it's a library drawer. If anyone doesn't know what a library drawer is, it's um, used, obviously, for library cards in the olden days. And this one, if I can pop it off, you'll make yourself a lovely name label that will go onto there. So right, this tape on here is incredibly sticky. She packages very, very well. This one is my design. It's a one piece. It's all scored. All you have to do is fold and put tape down here. And obviously when you make this, you'll need to glue it down or use some little brads to make it look a bit more realistic, like it's got screws in. Now this is an awesome size. It will hold the ATC uh, cards and folder that I designed but this is also the correct size for holding memory decks cards so if you're not into ATCs but you're into memory decks cards then this is going to be an awesome way to store those right now you are going to need your big plates and you're going to need to know the exact size so that it will fit through the math of your machine Right, I'm going to go the full length of the die and not cut line to cut line because I want you to know the exact size for your plate there. That is 10 and a quarter inches long. And then on your width, going the size of the die again is seven and three quarter inches so if you've got a seven and three quarter inch opening in the front of your machine that is going to go through and as i said when folded up and made you'll be able to put your atcs and your folder and you'll also be able to store all your memory decks or even index cards in here right that one is the first one Second up, now I do believe this one is a Nicole design because I recognise these elements and it's got a fold here which tells me that this is an open and closed slimline card and you've got that section that will create your base card and then you have a frame and then you have, I'm getting close there, a dot edge you don't have to use that. That comes separate, so you can put a dotty edge in there if you want to. Then you've got your stamps, and then you've got your corner pieces. And the measurement on that is, I can go cut line on this because most people's machines will accept this. That is eight and three quarter inches by four inches. So that's your largest sizes on that one. And then a really pretty planner page. And this one comes with these gorgeous curved edges. And you've got this lovely layering cameo in the middle. So you've got two ovals and you've got stitching on that. And there's also one, two, three frames there as well as the page. So, of course, these can be used on cards if you're not using them as part of your planner. Right, widest point cut line is, let me have a look at that, five and a half inches, a fraction over. And then your height, going from that top point there down to the bottom, is seven and a quarter inches, a fraction over. And then we've got, I think this is Nicole Design again is a heart panel which cuts into so you don't have to use that if you don't want to then you've got a layering piece and then you've got that as well and that is a pocket for your planner doesn't have to be for a planner because it's a small size you can create a little um, pocket mini album using this so i'm going to measure that for you 
and at its widest point there is six inches and then at its height five and a quarter inches so that should plan a pocket and then we've got a set of dies which comes with a smaller collection of stars and it has that little starburst border edge all the way around great set it's rectangles with the corner notched so doing the biggest one there and you have just over four and three quarter inches by just over five and three quarter inches so that is a lovely set of dies and some great detail Next up is a really useful one, and that is Happy New Year. And you've got that gorgeous back piece. You've got the shadow piece, and you've also got the words. Now, those are a lovely size, so I'll measure the height of a letter for you. Have I got my ruler the right way around? You know what I'm like. Right, that is three quarters of an inch just over in height. And the width of the Y there is half an inch. So it really is a lovely size. I mean, if I put it next to the planner die, because you know how big planner dies are, that's going to fit and fill the whole front of your planner page there. Or it's going to fill the whole front of a card. And because you've got the two separate shadow pieces, you can have it all together or you can separate them out to go along your slimline card or down your slimline card. So that's your Happy New Year. And then next up, I absolutely love this. I think this is Nicole Design again. And it's a set of kites. And you've got a heart. You've got a butterfly. You've got the butterfly's body. And you've also got a piece there that you can cut apart and use to do your embroidery into and pop that in so you've got those different styles of kite and then you've got the little bows and those strings but I just think that's really really cute so if I do the biggest kite piece here it's that one and that is because it's got its bow fitted on the bottom there that's almost two and three quarter inches long by just over one and three quarter inches wide and then next up not sure again but this is a nickel design i think and this is a dutch set of windmills now i know nicole is from the netherlands so it may be nicole's design i'm sure she'll pop on and tell me but isn't that awesome that's just so cute it's brilliant for spring and of course you can use them at christmas time and uh, do them with little tulip flowers if you've got any and the largest one is just over two inches and then the width of that is two and a quarter and then the largest blades for your windmill are three inches across but that's really really cute in fact I'll just get one off just to show you because you've got your piercing there so that you can pop a brad in and it's going to spin on your card but that's just so cool love that i mean you could even double layer them you know why not <laughs> why not have a load of blades on your windmill so that's the windmill set next up i'm not sure who designed this one but this actually reminds me of mine uh, the embellishment flash except this is a much much larger version and when pieced together like this it's awesome because you can just see it it's like all those chevrons and the largest one in that set is let's have a look just over five inches so those are circle those are also stitched and they're just very very pretty Next up is a great set. This one is brilliant for the 4th of July for New Year and it's a set of bursting fireworks. Isn't that really cool? So you can have fireworks exploding all over the place and you've got all those little starbursts to come off it. That is really, really lovely. And of course you can have them single or you can layer them up. 
but I'll measure the largest one and I think that's coming off of this leg here three and a quarter inches and I'll take it from there just in case yeah your largest firework in that set is three and a quarter inches right so it's Friday as usual all links are below do have a wonderful weekend and I will be back on Monday with some projects from this little bunch here have a great time bye